all right guys uh, so far we have talked about two types of knife based models one is bernoulli event and second is multinomial knife based right so in this video i'm going to talk about third type of knife base which is called gaussian knife base and we are going to see how it is useful right so if you go to this multinomial uh, knife base you will see that it requires uh, classif it is suitable for classification with discrete features right let's say word count for text classification right so these two are particularly useful if you have discrete number of discrete features right and this model gaussian knife base is more suitable when when you have a gaussian distribution or you have uh, working with variables uh, working with features whose probabilities can be modeled using gaussian distribution right so you will have continuous value features right continuous value features right and here the features are also boolean right in the multi bernoulli bernoulli case and here the feature had multi multiple values right multiple different values features can have right but since both of them are discrete right? whether you say y belongs to uh, the feature xi is having only these values 0 and 1 right? here xi can have any frequency right maybe 1 2 3 10 so on right okay but here your xi could be 2.5, 2.67, 2.78, right? 2.92 and maybe 3.5, right? So these features are continuous value features, right? So what this Gaussian knife base says that when you want to estimate the conditional probability of xi given y, right? So this is estimated using the formula of the Gaussian right so let's say p of xi it assumes that underlying data has some Gaussian distribution right so maybe uh, if it is a 1d case right then this is a Gaussian distribution right maybe if it is a 2d case maybe this cluster represents a Gaussian distribution and the probability distribution formula we have already seen it is written as 1 by root 2 pi sigma into e raised to the power x minus mu divided by 2 sigma square right so this formula basically says as you go away from the mean the probability density decreases and we have also seen the histogram for this kind of a distribution right so histogram looks like this this is x and this is px and this is the mean right as you go away from the mean the probability density of uh, x decreases as you go away from the mean right and sigma defines the spread right the spread and how uh, quickly the distribution or how uh, fast the density will fall right if you have a large sigma right then the graph would look something like this right and here you also have a minus sign right if you have a small sigma then the graph would look something like this right okay so this was the formula and similarly you also have the formula for the multivariate case which we talked about in the multinomial uh, no, multi variate normal distribution right and what i wanted to convey here is uh, using this uh, formula right we can find the conditional probability p of xi given y right right now suppose you have two kinds of distribution right you have a uh, lots of data points in a two, 2d case there are two clusters right so this cluster has y equal to 1 this cluster has y equal to 0 right so this conditional probability p of xi given y right let's say y is 1 right this will also be your gaussian distribution right so using some uh, formulas we can estimate this probability and what we need to compute to compute this probability we just need to compute this this kind of a function right and for this kind of a function we need to know the mean and sigma right 
if we know the mean and the sigma we know we can know this function and we can compute probability of any point right right so uh, let, let us do for a 1d case only right so let's say there are some points along this they belong to class 1 and there are some points here they belong to class 2 right so f for these points there there is only one feature the xi right there is only one feature and there is nothing else right so for this case you can directly use this formula but if if the features aren't in two dimension case right you have to use the multivariate normal distribution formula right which we have discussed earlier right so we are not going into details right so what what actually i'm trying to say is you want to estimate this conditional probability right and a probability of a particular point xi right is given by p of x and this probability distribution can be for the univariate case or it can be for the multivariate case right so give, depending upon the number of features if the number of features is one you can use this formula if the number of features is more than one for example in this case you can use the formula for the multivariate case and to compute the conditional probability right let's say uh, and there is some form of normal distribution right which requires you to supply sigma mu and sigma right these are the two parameters that you need to supply right and from the given distribution you have to estimate these parameters mu and sigma and details about how to estimate these parameters is are given in this paper right so you can go through this paper which scikit-learn implements right so for our case we are not going to implement this gaussian naive base we are going to use this method sklearn dot naive base dot gaussian naive base is the class and we are going to train it right so you should get the intuition behind this right what we are trying to say we are we want to estimate the conditional probabilities and these probabilities can be estimated using a normal distribution and that normal distribution requires you to give the value of mu and sigma right so if you know the mu and sigma you can find the probability of existence of this point right what, what is the probability density of this point you you can compute right okay so let us uh, go through one example in the code and implement gaussian i base using sklearn right so from sklearn uh, dot knife base right dot yeah so dot gaussian knife base okay yeah from sklearn dot knife base import gaussian knife base right so we import it the next thing is you have to create one uh, object so gaussian knife base equals to gaussian knife base right so we create one object and let's see what is this so it just accepts priors probability if you want to give it it is up to you and there is a smoothing term which is by default right which by default takes this value right so we can ignore that so we should also have some data set so let us make this kind of a data set using uh, sklearn classification make classification method right so from sklearn dot datasets import make classification right and now i can generate some data right so i can say x comma y equals to make classification you can give the number of samples is let's say 200 number of features is let's say 2 number of informative features is 2 and number of redundant features is 0 right so these are the parameters that you should give and let us plot this data set as well right plt from matplotlib dot by plot 
uh, yeah, imp import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt right so uh, plt dot plot or plt dot scatter all rows of x the zeroth column all rows of x the first column and we can give color is decided by y right okay plot dot show right. so this is the uh, this is the data set that our make classification function has generated and every time it it is random right so if you generate it again you you get this kind of a data set right so maybe these uh, data set and if you want to generate the same data set every time for your uh, experimentation purposes you can also specify one random seed right so let's say random seed equals to 5 okay random seed is not a random state i guess right yeah so the parameter is called random state now if you if you use random state equal to 5 you will also get this kind of a data set right and you can change the number maybe random state equals to 2 right so this is the data set random state equals to 4 this is the data set right okay so now what we are going to do we are going to perform classification using gaussian naive base since these values in x right let's say print x of 0 the zeroth training example the features are having continuous values right and print x dot shape there are 200 examples and each of them has a Two, two features and these features are continuous valued features right so let's train our classifier right so how to train you can call uh, gn gaussian i base dot fit and here you can uh, specify your training data x and y right? so it has fit and now you can check for the score right score is basically the accuracy right so it, it is 90 percent accurate right and if you want to see the predictions you can call this function predict so for the given x training set these are the predictions right and the actual predictions are y right so uh, y predicted and these are y right so if you compute a score by comparing y prediction with this right okay so if you uh, uh, compare y prediction with y you will also find that the score is 90 percent right so this score method internally compares your uh, predictions with the actual y's right so you can just call np dot sum of y prediction equals to y and divided by total number of examples which is x dot shape 0 and print equals sorry uh, we should import numpy as np right so you can see again accuracy is 0.9 percent so 90% of the data is correctly classified by our classifier right so this is how this uh, Gaussian knife base works so let us uh, go through documentation once again right so you can re read about more number of features right so trying out something right okay so that's all for uh, this video guys i hope you find it useful i will see you in the next video